they're all watching me fail like multiple takes of this video and they're just there like staring at me <laughs> hello my name is Ashley this is Faith Ratos and welcome or welcome back So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about one drug in particular, Enrofloxin, which is sometimes known as Beatrix or Enrocare. Some different brands and companies have branded it in those specific ways. In the UK here, you'll be commonly hear it called Beatrix, and that's how a lot of people refer to it. I, because of how my vet refers to it, I refer to it as Enro, but it's basically the exact same thing. It is a very contested and debated drug in the UK, in the rat keeping fancy, and I think worldwide in the rat keeping fancy in general. It is an antibiotic, it is a bactericidal drug, which means that it kills a bacteria. Some of the antibiotics do different things like denaturing the bacteria and stopping it replicating, which does help your body fight the infection, but it's not, doesn't kill the bacteria per se. And because of its sort of broad spectrum nature is widely used by veterinarians, people, vets, generally will reach for Beatrix or Enro as their first choice when it comes to using antibiotics. But with rats, and specifically with rats and respiratory infections, generally this isn't going to beat it. A short course of Beatrix isn't going to beat the mycoplasma that is causing most respiratory infections in rats. Generally, you'll need a combination of antibiotics with another drug such as doxycycline, and sometimes an anti-inflammatory or even a steroid on top of that to manage the sort of symptoms that are going on. These boys are going to be doing this for the entire video, so enjoy that. So, it's very contested, and a lot of not rat savvy vets will just prescribe Beatrix Enro by itself, and generally, for a respiratory infection, it's not going to cut it. It's not going to stop the infection. My vet will prescribe Enro and Doxy together for at least three weeks right off the bat. Generally, I think she gives us enough for four weeks and we just finish the course. And that generally pushes a respiratory infection out of the system of rats. However, it's not the sort of wonder drug that I think a lot of vets think of it as, and it doesn't sort of do everything all by itself. Often, as with respiratory infections, you need things to go alongside it and work with it. Things like doxy, and doxy is a drug that stops bacteria from replicating, so alongside the Beatrix, those two effects sort of help out. One of the most contested things about Beatrix, aside from the respiratory infection situation, is the fact that given subcutaneously, given as an injection, this will cause a reaction in your rat's skin quite often. And it happens so often that it has a little colloquial name. It's known as Beatrix burn, and it causes a wound where around the injection site. Because of how caustic it is, generally you'll get like a little thing used with gloves, and that is why it causes Beatrix burn. So if your rat goes into surgery or for any other reason is in severe respiratory distress, do not, and I'm telling you please, do not have this drug administered subcutaneously to your rat because Beatrix burn is very, very common um, when it's injected. And because of that, especially if your rat is in severe condition otherwise, you don't really want to be giving them another thing to deal with on top of the infection that they're already dealing with. So yeah, that's the other thing about Beatrix. And I'm not saying that it's not a drug that works, it does. But in general, it does need to be in coordination with other drugs other antibiotics to get the job done. A lot of not rat savvy vets will just prescribe it to you and one week of Beatrix, as a lot of vets, non rat savvy vets will give you, isn't going to do very much. And it's a great tool, but it's not the only tool. And if your vet is just whipping out a week of Beatrix to solve every problem, rethink it. I actually have a video on my channel about getting the vet care that your rats deserve, please go and check that video out so you can avoid the not rat savvy vets. I wanted to do a quick video about this little drug because I think for a lot of people they only hear about this stuff after a bad vet experience and I wanted to give you this information beforehand so you aren't um, put into the trap that a lot of rat owners and rat keepers get put into. So yeah, Thanks very much for watching my video. I do have channel memberships activated right now so you can come and join. I have four tiers. They range from $1.99 to I think $17.99 and at the top tier you get 
a t-shirt every three months I think it is and a postcard every month and in the lower tiers you get things like a channel members chat and priority reply to comments which is where I'll put your comments to the priority if that makes sense um, and yeah so if you want to become a channel member and follow my journey with my rats you can do that down below you can subscribe for free and help me out and help my videos out and you can like and comment um, comment down your experiences with Batriel or your opinions. I always love to have a bit of a chat here on this channel. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and the boys say goodbye. See you later. Bye.